Hello world, welcome to another episode of my weekly rant dedicated to changing our mindsets, especially our African mindsets. Today's topic is a discussion on why we Africans must stop the culture of complaining and instead focus our minds on finding solutions. If you listen to a lot of the African public commentary or read most of the social media, people spend an awful amount of energy complaining about bad leadership, about the effects of colonialism, and how our poverty is a result of foreign interference, and many other things. There is very little space given to exploring solutions to these problems and others. It is the most depressing thing to keep hearing from so many angles why the list of our problems seems to be endless and it seems all of them are from outsiders, usually Europeans or colonizers. Why are our countries poor? Supposedly it is because of colonialism. Why are our leaders and governments bad? You find that people say supposedly is because of foreign interference. And why can't we Africans trade with each other across borders or speak from our own languages, even at the African Union? Supposedly it's because of the effects of colonialism. The fact is, if we keep complaining, there will never be an end to it. To appreciate how self-defeating the culture of complaining is, I want to share some wisdom that we all can learn from the Chinese civilization. This is important because the Chinese have had foreign interference from Europeans, Americans, and even from the Japanese, but they never internalized a culture of complaining. Instead, they have worked their way to sit at the table of modern civilization as a superpower. In the great Chinese book called Tao Te Ching, which is almost 3,000 years old, the wise master advises that, open quote, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Failure along the way is an opportunity. If you blame someone else, there is no end to the blame. End of quote. Borrowing a leaf from that Chinese quote, you must understand that instead of complaining, we must appreciate that the journey to development and success and success in this modern world is long term and it has to take small steps every day. It is my message on this channel that those small steps that are needed are the work of changing our mindsets. Until we all realize that it is our mindsets that enabled the external forces or foreigners or colonialists to exploit us in the first place, we will never find a solution to our problems. And the work of changing our mindsets is a personal effort. For example, instead of complaining that the colonialists made us poor, a better thing to do is for you personally to start saving your little money every month. Don't spend more than you earn. And instead of valuing get rich schemes or praying all the time that God will make you rich overnight. Value hard work, work smart, and maybe instead of working just five hours a day, work 10 hours. If you do this for two, five or 10 years, chances are that you will internalize a disciplined mindset, which should lead you to be a better person financially. And if there are a thousand or a million people like you, then our whole society gets to be more disciplined and richer. For the sole reason that you as an individual chose to work smart and hard instead of complaining. Another example, instead of complaining about bad leadership and blaming it on colonialism or foreign interference, you must appreciate that the bad leader who is corrupt or B 
being a dictator. He's doing it out of a backward mindset. And chances are that if you're in the same place, you will do the same thing as long as you also have a, back, a backward mindset. So the wise thing to do is to take responsibility to be a better person yourself by being ethical, being trustworthy, and being someone who is a good leader in your home or in your social group. Being a good example yourself is a better thing than you complaining about how someone else is a bad example. And if each one of us can be better off today than yesterday, then in five years or ten years, when we are the leaders in our societies, we shall not be corrupt or bad leaders. The change we have to do is not a sprint, but rather a marathon. Don't succumb to giving your power away to other people or to history by complaining all the time. Instead, keep that power in yourself by becoming the change you wish to see in the world. Thank you for watching and remember, changing our mindsets is the struggle.